Bunny, and I am coming to you today pre-recorded from the Rootbound Life Boutique here in downtown Toledo, Oregon. Uh, I am a stockist for Iron Orchid Designs, uh, mud paint, and recycled treasures decoupage paper and stencils. If you are in my area and looking for any of those products, I would love to see you grace the doorway of my establishment. I'm located at 170 North Main Street in Toledo and Today, we're gonna to be working on, I have a little mixed media project that I have done a bunch of work to. I've decoupaged some stuff on there. I've stamped some stuff on there. I've put some transfers on it. I really like it, except for it seems a little too bold um, and clean. And so what I'm gonna to do today is try to add a little bit of dimension and age to it using some uh, waxes. So. Today we are going to be using a touch of clear wax from uh, Mud Paint and we're also going to be using a little bit of dark wax from Mud Paint. So those two products uh, are on our agenda for today. So let's get to work. Okay, this is the project that I have been working on and I do love it and it has lots of depth and I've stamped some things in there and then decoupaged over the top of it, added some transfers, did some stamping on top even, added some color and I really like it except for it just feels too done and I think it needs like a little touch of age. So. I'm gonna use my waxes to try and accomplish some of that age. So here is a little insider tip. I have these microfiber um, cloths that I pick up at the hardware store and I just put them in a Ziploc bag and label the bag and then just continue to use them over and over. So this is my dark wax one, this is my clear wax one and that keeps me going. Um, I can use them over and over and over again for a very long time and always have them available. I'm gonna use this clear wax first and just put a light coat of that on there and that'll give me um, a little bit more control over my dark wax. If I went straight to dark wax and it was too much or too dark or too dirty, um, it's much harder to get off if I don't have this. I can always use this as an eraser. So I'm just gonna put a real light coat of clear wax on there. Um, this is very easy. You see lots of these beautiful projects online and you're thinking, how did they get that age? How did they make that look so grungy without, um, you know, like rubbing dirt into it, which is an option, you can do that. All right, so here's my wax. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my rag here. I'm gonna give this all a quick once over. And I'm gonna pay particular attention to these edges because that's where I want like most of my grunge appearance to be because that's where it would naturally occur. All right, so we'll set that aside. We'll open up our dark wax. And then I'm just gonna put a little on this and then I can just start rubbing it in. I'm gonna pay the most attention to this edge. And I have multiple layers of decoupage on here as you can see and then multiple layers of stamping. I just threw lots and lots of scraps at this project and I do really like it, but it feels a little brighter and cleaner than I had hoped. And this will just grunge it up a touch. Oh yeah. 
that is much better. Can you see the difference between this side where I've put the dark wax and this area which hasn't really been touched yet? And you can go as thick or as thin as you want with your wax. I'd like to see a little bit more bleed in from these corners. So I'm gonna take a little bit more into these corners, leave it a little bit thicker and just feather it out into my project. Okay, easy peasy, simple, and I like it. I think it turned out much nicer. All right, very good. That's how easy that is. Well, thanks again for watching. If you are in downtown Toledo, I would love to see you. Uh, I am located at 170 North Main Street. All the products that I used in today's video um, and all the products that I used on this project ahead of today's video are all available on my website. You can see them all at rootboundlife.com. Um, follow me on all the socials and I hope to see you next time. Thanks, bye.